Hi guys, I'm just going to do a full focus O2 clutch master cylinder. And it looks like this is a common fault on them. Right, I'm going to do the full guide at the end and I'll put some times up, but I haven't got them yet. So I'll add the times in text and you can jump to the part you need. Some people will just be coming on here because they're looking at it and thinking, how the hell do I get this thing out? And nearly swore. And what it is, right, it's stuck behind the, um, the steering shaft, let's call it. And you'll look at it and you'll think, what the hell do you do? And I'll tell you what, it is a nightmare because look how long the pins are on the device. They've got to come from the engine bay. So what I did was, if you look at the underneath at the uh, steering shaft, it's got a compressionable point on it, obviously, to take in lumps and bumps on the road. You can use that to your advantage. So what I did was, was I got a strap, strapped it. If you've got a ratchet strap, you can. I got it. A, there's a really solid bar underneath the chair. Make sure you're doing this on something that's solid because you're putting a lot of pressure on it. And you could ratchet in. What I did, I didn't have a ratchet strap. Tried pulling it a couple of times, couldn't get it nice and solid. So I put the chair forward a couple of clicks, put the rope round relatively tight, the strap, and then I backed the chair up. And I mean, I literally had to put one foot on the side of the car to give it enough pressure because you need to get it back probably an inch or more. It, has, it is designed to do it so you're not damaging it and uh, that'll give you enough room to get it out it's still difficult and even when you think you're ready to turn and get it out and I'll show you in the video turn it towards the middle of the car so, so the, the green bit towards the centre console and still put your fingers behind and just push the like the liner let's call it the bulkhead liner you know the sound damping in because that's quite a deep sponge so even then you might have to just do that get your fingers in line with the two green pins and just give it a little push back hopefully that's all you've come on here to see well, at the end what I'll do is I'll do a full install with pictures and a bit of narration bang it out as quick as possible okay guys it was a pig and it was really hard on your body so be ready for that because you're bent over in all the most ridiculous positions good luck this is the full narration try and talk you through every step you're going to need so this is what you're going to see between the clutch pedals and you can see the uh, green bit there is where it goes out in the engine bay sat behind the steering steering column I'm going to stick to calling it now because I keep getting annoyed with that right the two bolts underneath in the darkness you see and they're really awkward to get to and you'll see I'll suggest a certain type of spanner the ratchet style they're going to be a nightmare of a single span you've got very little movement on it so I'd say that's where you're going to start first get under there have a look confirm it's leaking get yourself a new one they're not expensive um, and get them two uh, bolts undone first it'll stay nice and solid with those two undone unhook it off the clutch pedal as soon as you can otherwise you might forget to do that and then I would set about going under the engine bay and disconnecting the two hoses once you've done that you've only got to remove an 8 mil bolt underneath the engine and you see quite good access on the uh, on the uh, English model depending on your engine size it might be dependent the AC like they couldn't have made it more awkward where they put one of the lines for no reason at all going between the AC lines just to make it that bit harder and left the AC lines overhanging where you're trying to work which again didn't seem to be necessary excuse me there's a few real annoyances like that you just think like why did you put that there why is this stupid device sitting behind the steering column that just seems no reason for it why it couldn't have just gone straight out the bulkhead in line with itself so you'd unscrew it disconnect the other side and pull it out right going back to where we are so we've gone, gone underneath unbolted the two bolts holding it onto the clutch pedal assembly it looks like you might want to take the assembly off I wouldn't bother I couldn't work out how that would help me at all the only problem is to say the steering column blocking you actually pulling it out into the car so we've disconnected the two screws it's then got two sort of slide mounts we're leaving them in for now go to the engine side pull the two little pins out that secure the lines and have something ready that you're going to clog the lines with and you want to lift them up I didn't get the bottom one as high as I should I realised later you could have done because there is a rubber joint at the far end uh, so we take the top one out seal him lift him up now watch it when you lift him up because as I say the way he's threaded through the AC lines he's actually then got like quite a thin plastic tube and it almost looks like it wants to snap it looks like a really funny choice of material so watch out you're not bending him too aggressively when you keep that one it only needs to be higher 
than the preferably higher than the reservoir just to stop it running down but obviously a little bit you, you've plugged it potentially I plugged mine with a rag and then I stuck a rubber glove over the top of the rag a little bit seeps in the rag but not a big deal the bottom one I say then re remove him you, again you're going to get some leaking I'll have listed the tool somewhere so have a bucket of water around splash some water around after you get a bit of mess just so it neutralizes the acid effect uh, lift the bottom line up so yeah just going back to that there's little pins there pop them initially with a screwdriver and then grab a pair of pliers thin nose pliers and actually take them out you can get them out with your fingers but because of the access it's a lot easier with thin nose pliers take them out put them to one side safely you literally then just pull the connectors out seems a bit scary and you, you sort of think is are they good enough but they do seem to be hang on it it comes off then you've got the little 8 mil bolt take the 8 mil bolt out if we haven't already done it then go car go inside the car in the footwell again and ratchet strap the uh, steering column away as best you can you you'll literally work at your hands and think right is it far enough is it not far enough until you get and now you've unclicked it as well so there's two little uh, locking pins two little plastic things just sort of hooking into the pedal assembly which you'll use when you align it again later on but they're quite grippy so I did have to actually get up behind and give it a little bit of force to lever it forward to pop it off them when you then it comes forward and it's in your hand it's still going to hit that to some extent on the back of the steering column twist the green towards the centre console so you take it round behind and out that way you might just have to push with your fingers just to get the two green things past the uh, all the sound damping on it because there is a lot of sound damping uh, and that's it once that puff is out in your hand reassembly the same way oh there's a little piece of foam because I forgot I put it all back in and then I thought oh my god the piece of foam sat here so there's a little piece of foam you'll take off once it's out remember to put that straight on the new one so you don't forget later same thing going back in so put it the black piece first round the back you know towards the centre console round the back of the steering column and in and it goes back in quite nicely to be fair because you're not got the resistance of the foam you're pushing against the foam so it just twists in and those two pop in don't bother pushing them too far yet look more at getting the lugs in line as you're pushing them through get the lugs in line that go into the uh, pedal assembly and even then I couldn't get them in I had a lot of leverage on them and in the end a little screwdriver in the bottom screw hole and push back on it them two little bottom bolts that go the little silver bolts they're actually self tappers and they'll tap in but I say really awkward so hard to get the top one back in that's why ratchet you can put it in the ratchet style spanner and actually lift it up in that and even then there's barely the length real nightmare really poor design get that in tighten those two puppies up so once you can tighten them up then you know you're in position back in the engine side put your 8 mil bolt in and then reconnect your top tube check your uh, fluid level at this point in your reservoir make sure you've got plenty of fluid and be ready to add a bit more get a rag underneath the bottom your I put a, I laid a piece of rag down for any spillage anyway but if you haven't get a rag on the bottom hole put the top tube in now it should start running through quite readily if it don't pop inside the car and just pull the the thing that I should have told you ages ago not to forget to connect to the clutch connect the what would you call it? I'd call it the piston, but I think there's even another word, the plunger, let's call it, onto the, the clutch. If say if flu fluid's not flowing, pull that out, and that'll get the fluid fluid flowing. Then, as soon as it's flowing out the bottom, jam the bottom one back in. Bleeding the system was really an awkward, and I don't really want to go into it, but I suppose we better, but I'll do it at the end. Uh, so you've got your 8 mil back in, you've got your ones underneath back in, you've hooked it back on the clutch, pedal like I forgot the first time you can force it over if you have to and I think you're about done as I say other than bleeding but we'll come back to that in a minute because I'm not sure exactly how it went but all of a sudden it just seemed alright 